Hello and welcome to yet another video of a camera bag that I want to show you. And this is the Lowpro Nova Sport 35 liter AW. It's a big bag. You can fit a lot of stuff into it. But the first thing that I thought when I saw this bag is I will maybe buy it to put all my drone equipment, the Mavic 2 Pro that I have. And let's see if I manage to fit all my stuff. Now this is not a backpack, so it's a little complicated to carry it with you if you take a hike in a mountain. But if you drive a car to some location, just put it in a car, drive, no problem at all. I will still keep the other bag that I have, which is a more a backpack, in case I want to travel with it hiking in a mountain or other places. So let's open it and I show you what I managed to put inside this bag. So first you have a handle that you can carry it with your hand like that. You have a pocket outside here and if I turn it you can see that it's like two clicks here and then you have a case here that you can put stuff. I'm going to show you what I put inside there. And then you open it like that, and that's what I managed to put inside. So first I put my Crystal Sky screen Ultra on here. It's a picture of a computer, so it is nice to have, nice and protected. Then I have two scotch here that I can lock, and I have another extra which I can find a way where to put it, so you can lock if you don't want stuff to fall. So here I have three batteries here and one battery on the drone and another extra battery somewhere here. I'm going to show it to you in a second. So four, four batteries. Then I have controller, which in this case I took the sticks because it's more protected when it's no sticks. When you put it on, it can be damaged. So that's nice. Charger hub. And if you want to charge four batteries at once, so this is the charger hub. And here I have this blinking lights that you can put on the top of the Mavic 2 Pro. And it's give you a strobe light, very long distance that you can see your drone, even on a daylight. And on this here under, you have two batteries and a charger hub, charger box for the Crystal Sky screen, as you've seen before. Here I have the adapter that I 3D print for the Mavic 2 Pro controller so I can mount quick release, so I can mount the screen on top of the controller. So that's a nice place for it. Charger with a long cable, fits in perfect. Then gloves thermic gloves that you can use it when you fly in cold weather. Though I tried to fly it in a minus 19, minus 20. Wasn't helped so much, but it's always nice to have. Better than nothing. And here I have two extra propeller in each box. Two here and two here. Plus I have ND filter and one ND filter, single one in this box here. So that's something nice to have. And another battery, which is a little tick here, so I write do not use on the drone, so I use it normally to charge via USB, my mobile, or anything I need on the field. So that's about this. And then here I have some few more propellers, four extra propellers, not in the box. And here I have some tools, a USB cable, because sometimes maybe you're stuck with no battery for the Crystal Sky, so you need a USB cable. And this one, it's to adjust the tension of the screw here. Sometimes the screen, it tends to be soft, so you need to use this screw to make it more strong. 
So this go here. And then on this one here, there is some few more things, small cover for the motor. If you put it without propeller and cables and some more small stuff that you need along your trip. And finally, the Mavic 2 Pro. So I have it with propellers. So I have a propeller locks, one on the bottom, one on here. And then I have this one that I 3D print. And this is to protect the camera. So this is how I managed to put all my stuff in one bag. As I say, it's more practical if you just put it in a trunk and drive. But of course you can carry it on your shoulder if you're strong enough. So you can take a trip. So if you look at each side here. Also on the side here there is a bag. There is a pocket that you can put water bottle and a few more things and also the same on the other side right here. So that's very, very nice. So I like this bag, I keep it and I use the other bag when I need it to take a hike as I say before. That's it for today, that's what I want to show you this bag. I um, assume that you can put a lot of camera equipment in this bag if you fix it in the right way. So maybe when I go to a trip I can manage to put another camera or two here on top so I can just take one bag and make it as a one solution. So I hope you like this video. Please like, share, subscribe to my channel to see more videos like that. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.